Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Ashen Definitive Edition for the Xbox Series S. The game is also available for the Nintendo Switch, Windows and PlayStation. Ashen Definitive Edition is an action role-playing game developed by A44. The game is set in a fantasy world where your character seeks a place to call home. On your journey, you meet a variety of characters, complete quests and take on challenging enemies in an open world. The Definitive Edition features the Nightstorm Isle DLC, which I will go into later. So what's it like to play? Well, you start out by creating your own character with a limited amount of options to choose from. Then it's off into the open world where you'll be greeted by combat akin to the Souls-like genre, but with a more forgiving style. You can wield single or two-handed weapons, throw spears, defend and block with a shield, or use light or heavy attacks. Health and stamina are your key attributes to manage, with each combat action using the stamina bar, but over time this can be increased as well. Items can also be used to heal, as can a special flask, but there are also several other items that grant the player special bonuses. Despite the combat being more forgiving than other games in the genre, you're still going to die quite a lot. Upon death, you lose Scoria. Scoria is the currency used to buy or upgrade in the game, and each enemy you vanquish will provide you with more of that currency. One thing to note is that enemy attacks do a large amount of damage to your health bar, so combat is a tense and deliberate affair with each action potentially having a decisive effect on the result. Enemy variety is pretty good I would say, but the enemy hiding around the corner routine is a bit overused in the early stages. Unlike other games in the genre, you can't directly level up your statistics. Instead, Ashen relies on a combination of ever improving weapons, armor, and artifacts. Weapons can be upgraded assuming you've got the necessary resources. Armor, however, doesn't allow that. The artifacts are managed by talismans and relics. A talisman grants you a special ability, like special orbs, for example, that float around your character, helping you in combat. Then you can equip a variety of relics as you find them. These offer stat increases like extra health, extra stamina, better recovery skills. So that's how the core gameplay works, but let's talk about the overarching progression that takes place at Vagrant's Rest. Vagrant's Rest is a part of the map that you make your home early on in the game. Think of it like a village type hub. In the beginning, you have a couple of allies who start to build their homes. These allies offer a variety of side and main quests to A, progress the story, and B, to add new features to Vagrant's Rest. These vary from a workbench to improve your weapons, potion mixing stations, and many other options. The more quests you complete, the more Vagrant's Rest transforms from a barren wasteland to a thriving community of friends, allies, and traders. It's a beautiful way of managing your progression in a visual way, and seeing each new structure emerge gives you that real sense of achievement and watching your community grow. In regard to the wider game world, Ashen has large open spaces to explore, as well as dark, tight and devilishly difficult underground cities. And it's these underground locations that provide the true test of your metal. With a lantern in one hand and a weapon in the other, you'll be tentatively taking one narrow path at a time, desperately trying to make it to the next checkpoint. It's in these moments where your AI teammate or co-op buddy comes into play. Unlike other games in the Souls-like genre, you can play with a computer-controlled ally, aiding you in combat and just making you feel less alone. These allies can help you climb, they can heal you, and they also take a lot of the heat off you in combat. This system is at its best in the multiplayer, but with AI characters provided as well, you know, it really just gives you a little bit of a different flavour for the genre. Story-wise, I'd say it's pretty well written, good structured narrative with likeable characters, interesting subplots, and a verbal style that's easy to follow, you know, avoiding the pseudo-intellectual ramblings of other such games. I hope Bartaran doesn't mind us asking her to come. Maybe we can help her find a cure. I would hate to lose him just as the light has returned. I noticed a special mark on Ahu's map, within the Eye of the Needle. I found my father's writing quill there among what were surely his bones. This edition features a DLC by the name of Nightstorm Isle. 
Nightstorm Isle is integrated into the main campaign and provides a serious challenge as well as new enemies, new items and a completely new area to explore. However, it's probably not a place you want to visit right at the beginning, so it's really more for players who are nearing the late game. Visually, Ashen is a sublime game with a delightful art direction, you know, the soft pastel shaded environments, the beautiful landscapes and the dark and foreboding caverns, they all complement each other perfectly. It was very reminiscent of games like Ico and Sable, visually stunning despite its fairly simple streamlined presentation. Soundwise, Ashen has a sublime musical score that really delicately threads together the atmosphere, the ambience, the aesthetics in a really wonderful way. Voice acting is great most of the time, maybe 10%, it's a little bit disappointing, but over overwhelmingly, the audio is fantastic. Okay, what's good and what's bad? What's good? The combat is well paced, progression is beautifully balanced, and the way Vagrant's rest develops throughout is immensely satisfying and heartwarming to witness. The story is well written, the music is emotive, and the visuals are simple but very effective and the AI teammates really add to the experience, making you feel less isolated. What's bad? Some of the boss fights were quite basic and underwhelming. It may be a little bit too easy for souls like veterans and the combat is fairly basic. So what's the verdict? Ashen is an excellent game with well-paced progression, an interesting story and a beautiful game world. The difficulty is well balanced and it never veers into the obtuse category. The side quest stories are interesting, as are the allies and friends that you make along the way. But for me, it was the way that your progression can be visually measured in Vagrant's Rest that made each completed task fill you with a sense of pride and satisfaction. The best compliment that I can give Ashen is that, for a Souls-like, it didn't feel like one. It felt more like a classic adventure role-playing game. It takes the principles of a Souls-like and it softens the difficulty adds a compelling story, interesting characters and a heartwarming relationship into the mix. I would put it in my top three Souls likes of all time behind Dark Souls and Elden Ring. Yes, maybe it isn't the best one, but you know, for me, it was the one that I enjoyed the most. And enjoyment is the key word. Not all games in this genre need to have overbearing difficulty that drives you insane. Ashen balances all of the key elements in a really sublime way and it's a game I would strongly recommend. So my score for Ashen Definitive Edition is 8.8 .8 out of 10. Okay that was the review, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe, this is Photography Gamer signing off, thank you.